Poos and Vlogs. So for today's vlog, we will be talking about our baby's teeth. So as you can see, we're now here inside our dental clinic. Um, and by the way, if you're coming from our Tooth Solutions Facebook group or Instagram, we welcome you here in our channel, Poos and Vlogs. Again, like what I said earlier, for today's vlog, we will be talking about something important, which is our baby's or our kid's teeth. So as you may not know, I am practicing pediatric dentistry or I am a dentist for kids. I'm also of course a full-time mom to our toddler Nathan and soon to be second baby. So for today, I want to stress the importance of healthy baby teeth. Or should I say I am an advocate of having a healthy baby teeth and at the same time I advocate also having your kids checked by your dentist. So for today, I want to share with you why is it important to go to the dentist as early as possible. And also for this vlog, um, we will discuss the things to expect when you go to your dentist. We want this to be, uh, of course, as practical as possible. I'm sure most of you parents are wondering about this also. Um, is it scary or what if my baby cries or is it painful, um, etc. Also, we will discuss the preparations you need going in for your kid's dental appointment and checkup, especially if you haven't been to one. So for today's vlog, we will focus on that first. So if you have a baby or a kid and you haven't been to your dentist, this one is for you. But before that, before we start, of course, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Who's in Vlogs, like and comment down below, and also share us to your families and friends. So okay, let's start. Before we dive into the expectations and the preparations, uh, one thing that we need to address is this one question that my patients never fail to ask me. So what age can I bring my baby to his or her first dental visit or when can we visit the dentist? Um, and the answer is as soon as the first tooth erupts or on their first birthday. In my practice, we have as early as six months old, so which is good. Um, it's very common in here sa ating practice yun. You may ask why? Why so early or wala pa naman nipin or kakalabas pa lang nipin? Uh, it's true, but during that first appointment or the first appointment, for me, is the most important one. Basically, it is where we, of course, do the first checkup, um, gentle teeth cleaning, and of course, the parent education. So, parent education here is the key. Uh, we will discuss the things you need to know in the preparation of the coming teeth. Number two, how to properly brush the teeth. Number three, what toothpaste to use. Number four, what brush to use. And number five, what right food to give. And number six, what will cause cavities and other important reminders. This is why it's very important to have your kids checked by the dentist. So aside from the discussion, what else would you expect uh, with your first dental checkup? I, of course, will check your baby's teeth. Um, we don't usually let them sit uh, on the big chair or on the dental chair immediately. But in our clinic, what we do is the knee-to-knee -knee position. So the knee-to-knee -knee position is like this. Uh, we do this position for us to number one, see clear the teeth and make it easier for us to brush the teeth. And number two, make this as an example for you uh, on how you can brush your kids' teeth at home. In some cases, if your kids are bigger and it's still their first time, uh, that's the time that they can sit on the big chair or the dental chair. At this point, expect of course that, like what I said a while ago, uh, expect that it will be as fast as possible. It's gonna be very light. Uh, we will just do a quick mouth exam, check their teeth, but not only that of course, we will also check the gums, uh, the lips, the cheeks, and the tongue. Or if teeth is present, we will do like brushing and cleaning using our brush. No other dental instrument, of course, so that they'll not be scared. In some cases, if there's no cavities, we advise you if you want to apply our fluoride varnish. Um, if yes, we will do the fluoride varnish application. So what is this? What is fluoride varnish? So it's a highly concentrated fluoride, a lot stickier than your toothpaste, the regular toothpaste that we apply on a kid's teeth. It helps, of course, build strong teeth and prevent from cavities. Especially helpful also if you are at a high risk of developing cavities. Expect that after the application, you cannot, so you cannot 
let your kids drink or eat for 13 minutes after. So be prepared with that also. What if there are cavities or if there's something painful or ouchy on your kids' teeth? In a clinic, as much as possible, uh, on your first dental visit, uh, again, we want to make the treatment as fast as possible. We let them play in the clinic, maybe watch their favorite movies or film. Um, so basically, it's just to, to orient them inside the clinic and make your first appointment as pleasant as possible to avoid trauma. So growing up, we have this thinking of going to the dentist as scary or as traumatic. Um, as much as possible, you want to eliminate that. Um, that's why we want their first visit to be pleasant as possible. But in some cases, uh, if it's an emergency case, we have no choice but to do it immediately. Um, but if not, uh, we plan ahead. Uh, we usually give the first treatment plan after discussion. Uh, we don't want again to do everything on one sitting to avoid trauma. In some cases, depending on the age and the kid's participation, we often do one or two treatments but seldom extractions. Uh, again, what else to expect? Crying, of course, it's okay uh, if your kids cry inside the dental clinic, it's perfectly normal. Uh, the important thing is that we checked it and of course, we are able to clean the teeth. And like we said, uh, we have distractions like toys, movies, and also gifts that we give to distract them from it. At the same time, we are used to this already, so you don't have to worry or be shy about it when your kids cry inside the clinic or even resist. Um, it's perfectly normal. You can be assured that we also know what to do. But also, as I always say to our parents, uh, there are also preparations before going in the dental clinic. So what are the preparations? Um, especially if it's your babies or your kids' first time. But this also applies to all the kids going inside the dental clinic. Number one is, of course, talk to your kids. Be honest with them. Um, tell them what to expect. And tell them that it's going to be just fast. Um, don't ever scare them. Even if it's just jokes. Common we hear is, Hala ka, bubunutan ka na nangipin. So we don't want to do that anymore to avoid our kids being scared. Another practical preparation is that, of course, to bring extra clothes, um, diapers, or bibs just in case you need them inside the dental clinic. And lastly, another important thing is to make sure your kids are not newly fed uh, with milk, water, or food. Um, this is to avoid, of course, vomiting while crying if, they, if they'll cry inside the dental clinic. So after we're done with the dental checkup, of course, I will talk to the parents and discuss them what to do. For number one, what's the next course of the treatment? And number two, uh, what to do, of course, at home. Home care is also very, very important. For that, maybe we can discuss it in another vlog or in a different vlog. So wait for it. So there, that's basically it. Um, that's what happens on your kid's or baby's first dental experience. Um, as you always say inside our clinic, uh, it's good to start early. We don't take baby teeth uh, lightly anymore. We should not have the thinking of, okay lang yan, baby teeth lang yan, it can be replaced or etc. So it's not the case anymore. Cavities, of course, can affect your kids. Number one, it can give you pain, number one. Number two, discomfort. Number three, malnutrition. And number four, the worst part is infection. So we don't take it lightly. That's why it's important to bring them to your dentist as early as possible. So by the way, regarding COVID, I'm sure all of us are concerned about this or this is a hindrance for us to go to the dentist. Um, always be reminded that, of course, all the dentists or the dental clinics now are fully equipped to make sure that your visit is as safe as possible. But in return, like here in our clinic, uh, we require or we send health forms, questionnaires to be sent to you beforehand and a form you need to submit before coming in. And at the same time, we strictly schedule our patients also. So as much as possible, you don't have any other patients with you inside the dental clinic. So there you are. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, this is our first dental vlog and so expect more. Comment down below if you have other questions or suggestions on what we should do next. Again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Clues and Vlogs. Like and comment down below. And also, please follow us on our other social media accounts. For our clinic, it's Tooth Solutions DHS in our IG and on the Facebook. And also, of course, Clues and Vlogs on IG and on Facebook. So there you are. Thank you guys for watching. See you on our next video. Bye!